Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, about a year ago, we put in a gravity drain in this driveway. And here in Florida, there is just so much afternoon rain that they couldn't keep up with the maintenance on it. And that line right there, where it goes out, filled with sand. So <clears throat> we're going to clean that line, but we're also going to put in a temporary sump pump. So I've dug up the old line right here. We're going to put a new pipe through here. And then we'll attach it to the temporary sump pit right here. And you can see it's just it's a couple of buckets. I put two buckets together, drilled holes in them. There's an inlet coming in right here. An inlet comes in right here, so we'll attach that to the trench. And then we'll also clean that discharge line as it goes out to the swell out front. I already I plugged in the pump and it's working great. Just have to lift up the float to kick it on now. But you can see it and hear it, pulls it right out of there. So once we connect this section here, this water from all this area right in here, I mean, it's just totally flooded out here. Um, we'll come into the sump pit, the sump pump will lift it up, and we're just gonna discharge it right over into the natural area there, which is actually lower than where we are. So it should work really good. So, this area had sunk down and they were actually getting stuck when they were driving through. So I went ahead and backfilled some of that. I threw some gravel out here um, just to help them give some traction through the area. It's still pretty spongy, but it's because it's so wet. I mean, if you can see my feet sinking into this, it is so wet out here that it just needs to dry. And then this will firm up really nice coming through here into these areas. And again, we'll put the drain back right over here with a new catch basin and we'll run gravel perforated pipe right over there to the sump pit. And that's gonna take this water right out of here. This is a great project. This is a great project for the do-it-yourselfer. Granted, you can see I'm covered in sweat. It's early morning here. It's very humid in, in Florida, you know, during the summertime. But wow, I mean, it's a simple project. Like I said, basically we're going to do a backyard sump pump connect a gravel perforated pipe which will collect the water, a catch basin back there as well, over to a temporary sump pit because I don't know if they really want to keep that there or not, but we will, um, if they do, then we'll go ahead and put a bigger pit there. We're going to leave an extension cord out for temporary power and of course we could always bring permanent power out here. And again, it's just going to discharge. Right now I've got it going around to the back, but I'll trench right through those palmettos over to a lower spot in the natural area. So I'm just about ready to open the trench up. I'll go ahead and do that right now with one hand, if I can. <laughs> and this water is just gonna come pouring down through here into this bucket. There's two buckets there. Remember, this is just a temporary sump pit. I have to put my, my camera down for one second. Sorry. So you can see that water is just rushing down through there really nice and within minutes here this will be drained off. Some pump will lift up and carry it away each time it kicks on. Notice that I put fabric around the bucket. There's holes I drilled around the bucket that just helps you know, slow that uh, flow of water. Oops, it's trying to rise up. It's floating up a little bit. Let's push it back down in there. Got to keep this down until it firms up. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this little piece of uh, fabric right here. Let's go ahead and open up the fabric. And now you can really see it rushing in there, pouring, just rushing down through here. And the pump's easily keeping up with that flow. So this will really dry out this area all through here. It should work really, really good. Looking good, looking good. Can you see that pump keeping up with it? So now the float's down on the bottom. It just needs to fill up again and it'll kick back on. Remember to put fabric around your temporary sump pit because it'll fill up with sand if you don't and then you just have to keep cleaning it out.
we'll let this fill up and see if it kicks back on but we've already drained most of this water yep there it goes so now I just need to trench you know to get a deeper trench going through here and we'll be all set to install okay if you can see it I've already dug the trench went ahead and put our pipe in here this is slotted pipe I've got a little bit of gravel underneath now I'm just going to pour some more gravel on the top just to get you know better drainage out of it you can hear that pump kicking on we'll cover this section with the fabric the soil separator just to help keep some of that sand out and then we'll connect it all together and we're done so I brought the perforated pipe into the temporary sump pit which is two buckets there's holes around the outside I put fabric a soil separator you know to keep the sand from coming into the bucket We've got gravel perforated pipe. People call that the French drain. We're gonna go ahead and cover the rest of that up with gravel backfill and we'll be done here. Okay, so we went ahead and uh, put some gravel perforated pipe, the French drain. Now we covered that up with fabric. It actually changes to solid pipe here. And reason being is this is their driveway. We're gonna go ahead and put a little catch basin right here with a grate on the top and this water in the trench is just because there's so much groundwater. <laughs> this will all drain out. Come over here to the temporary sump pit. The pump has been kicking on frequently. You can see where the line comes in. Move this discharge. You can see the line coming in right here. It's light enough, bright enough. And <clears throat> the pump is right here. The float down here, you hear it kick on. Every time that float rises, you know, as the water fills up in the pit, the pump lifts it up and sends it out. It's just going over to that natural area. So let's go ahead and backfill this and grade it off. Okay, so for the catch basin or, you know, the entry point is basically I've got a three inch line. I've enlarged it with a, a bushing. This goes from three to four inch. This is all thin wall PVC. This is not schedule 40. These are different fittings. So we've put that on a little piece of four inch pipe and then a four inch 90. And then we just set a grate on top and we'll secure that grate. And you can see we're just below, we're just below the grade here. This is a low, low spot of the yard and the driveway. So it picks up all the water that's coming, you know, all around this area. And it's also gonna pick up all that water that comes down that driveway. What it does is it collects the water here, it runs through the solid pipe because they're driving over it, and then down there by the sump pit, it changes to, to perforated pipe. People call it the French drain, which is gravel perforated pipe. And you can see that sump pump kicks on. It kind of scares me because it looks like a snake. <laughs> but it's kicking on and off about every two or three minutes because there's so much groundwater here. It's just all moving over that direction. So again, a really great project for the do-it-yourselfer. Granted, it is hot. It is humid here. And, you know, I'm, I'm covered in sweat and sand and dirt but like i said i'm covered in sweat and sand you can see i'm just i'm kneeling down into the mud here but that's kind of how you have to install when you do it yourself especially if you're working you know in an emergency situation where these people have been getting stuck in their own driveway they you know it's sand it's soft sand so it's like quicksand they've got to be able to get back and forth to the driveway they are going they're planning to go ahead and pave a driveway through here so the temporary sump pit back there is a perfect solution to this problem it's just going to provide them you know drainage where the ground can firm up and they can drive over it until after the rainy season which is actually after hurricane season so clear into november but at that point they're going to go ahead and pave this area and it won't be a problem anymore so a great project for the do-it-yourselfer okay so got our grate installed I put a little bit of gravel around there and you can see groundwater still coming you know into the system covered it all up this will all settle nicely and again this is just a temporary sump pit so in other words they're going to pave this driveway but right now they're getting stuck right over here so basically they had an emergency they needed to be able to drive back to their property so I went ahead and put two buckets together and <clears throat> drilled some holes around the sides, covered around that with 
fabric, if you can see it right here. Then we put gravel perforated pipe, about oh, eight or nine feet. Then we went to solid because they're driving over that, you know, through the driveway. Sump pump, it, the collection is out here on this side, and the sump pump lifts it up and just takes it right on over to that natural area. Real simple project. A great, easy thing that homeowner could do themselves. So, so if you're planning on doing this yourself, there's a couple of tips I can give you. Try to start early in the morning because it gets super hot. And the hardest part, I think, is if you can see me, I'm just drenched. And it feels like I'm carrying an extra 50 pounds of, of sweat, of water. It's very difficult to walk around in your long pants to try to keep clean. But that's the real hardest part about this job is just you're getting sweaty and dirty. Um, this took me about an hour and a half to do everything that I showed you here. You could do it yourself, um, probably take you two hours, two and a half hours. Remember, I do this every day, so a little bit faster, not much. <laughs> Again, don't forget about live help. Get the help you need. All you need to do is load Skype onto your phone or your tablet, and you can easily show me the problem that you're having. Be happy to consult with you, help you with materials, questions, how-to. Cost is $50 per session. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. So that original discharge line from the catch basin there in the driveway, you can see it came out through here, and it's actually working, but what happens is that, you know, every afternoon here, in Florida, especially during the summertime, it rains three, four, five inches. And this swell, you can see the water out here, it fills up and it covers the discharge. You know, right there's the discharge. And you can see that there's been water coming out of it. It comes out nicely. But when that, this water rises above it, of course, it begins to flow back. And that area becomes so saturated that it just really cannot move the water. If you have that water in your yard, um, you've got a rural property or even a, a city property, you've got this kind of water in your yard. The longer it sits there, the more that it sinks. It always amazes me that you know, here in Florida, all of this floats, the entire ground. Once it becomes saturated with water, ground table rises, everything's floating. I mean, everything, your, your property, your house, so your footers better be in good shape because if they're not, you're going to have all kinds of waterproofing issues.